Hi everybody and welcome back. Now in this lecture we're going to look at filling a dictionary with a user's input. So we can prompt as many times as we would like for user input with each pass through a while loop. Let's look now at a property renting program in which each pass through the loop prompts the users for property details. We'll store the data we gather in a dictionary because we want to connect each property with a particular user. So as you can see at the top I've started off with some comments, just the basics. And now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an empty dictionary. Create an empty dictionary. Okay, and how we do that is we're going to call this rental properties. Equals and our curly brackets. Now, next thing we're going to do as we saw in a previous lecture is we're going to set a flag. So set a flag to indicate we are taking applications for rental properties. So let's imagine that we are a real estate agency and we are looking for people to let us know if they have properties to rent. So rental open true. Okay. Now, while our rental open is true, so while rental open, and just let's add in a comment here, Prompt users for the name and address. So prompt users, prompt for the users, name and address. Okay. So the user's name equals, actually I'll just change that to username equals input, double quotes, backslash new line, what is your name? Okay, now then the user's rental property. That equals input, so we're going to receive the property. What is the address of the property that you have to rent? Okay, there we go. Now what we want to do, as we said at the beginning of this lecture, is we want to store the responses from the users, store the responses in a dictionary. So rental properties, and then we have our username equals rental property. Okay, now what we'd like to do next is we'd like to ask if the user knows anybody else who might like to rent out a property. So we're looking for business. Repeat equals input, double quotes, backslash n, new line. Do you know anyone who might like to rent out their property? Okay, perfect. Now, if repeat, is no, then rental open, and I forgot my colon there, then rental open becomes false and our program will end as we saw in a previous lecture. So we're really putting together a lot of elements that we've seen in previous lectures. And what that will mean then is adding our property is complete. So what we want to do is we want to print. I'm going to use a nice little trick here. So print new line backslash n. And we're going to go one, two, three, space property to rent. One, two, three. Close our brackets. So four. We're going to create a loop now. So for username and their rental property in rental properties dot items so we're looping as you can see 
print username plus has plus then the rental property plus open quotes space to rent. Okay, so this is probably one of the biggest programs that we've written so far. And what I'm going to do is because we need user input, I'm going to write, I'm going to open this up in our idle program. So bear with me for one moment while I open up idle. Okay, so here we are now in idle and let's cross our fingers and toes and run it. What is your name? Well, my name is Tony Staunton. Okay, what is the address of the property that you have to rent? Well, my property is 101 Main Street. Do I know, do you know anyone who might like to rent out their property? No, I don't, not at the moment. Property to rent. Tony Staunton has 101 Main Street to rent. So you can see how in the larger scale and larger thinking of a web application, this can come into play. This could become a link into, and we could click it to show more details of the property. Or even we could click on the username and that would bring us into the username to show us all the properties that they have to rent because it could be a big company. So that is probably one of the biggest programs we've written so far and it really is an excellent coming together of everything that we've learned so far throughout the course. I hope that it all made sense. If not, please do not hesitate to contact me and thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next lecture.